Hello everyone, Zeph Films here. Hello, 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 hello. Uh, we're continuing on with the uh, the Let's Play series with my new uh, my new discovery character, and in this video we're going to be playing Illusion of Communication. So uh, I, I I said in the last video that uh, I've already played through these once. I wanted to play through them without worrying about uh, recording at the same time and kind of just enjoy it. So. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to be replaying it and recording it for your pleasure. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's jump into it. Our information about events at Pavo is incomplete. But I believe the Terrans are undertaking a large-scale operation there. They have managed to coerce the planet's consciousness into serving their violent needs. Furthermore, they've turned Pavo's transmitter into a potent weapon. Time is of the essence. While the Alliance is mobilizing a larger response, we are, in effect, the first responders. It falls to us to do what we can to stop Captain Tilly and her crew before they solidify their control of Pavo. Failing to do so could be catastrophic. Ideally, we should return the Discovery and her crew to their proper time and space. Under the circumstances, removing the Terran presence from Pavo is the more immediate, logical need. Alright, so we're going back to Pavo. Uh, and this one you get some XP, some Dilithium. And then you get to choose between uh, the Pavan Healing Crystal, which gives you plus 80 hit points. Uh, and removes uh, removes Hold and Stun for 3 seconds. And this uh, Engineering Console, uh, SIF Generator. So... Uh, because this character is only level 12, these are, uh, yeah, it's, it'll be changed out soon. <laughs> Based on my readings, I believe the Terrans have managed to alter Pavo's song. Somehow, Tilly and her crew have manipulated it into a new type of harmonic waveform. This waveform is potent enough to realign the space around the planet, shifting it to a different quantum signature. As a result, a number of interphasic rifts have opened in the system. For what purpose? I believe she is attempting to bring things from the mirror universe to ours. Logic suggests an invasion force, based on previous encounters with the Terran Empire. We are not the only ones interested in this behavior. The time-displaced Klingons are moving to investigate as well. Considering previous encounters, the situation could become volatile quickly. Well, let's deal with this before it gets out of hand. Uh, again. Alright, so there's a little uh, little bit of a pause there. I was trying to record, try something new and record with OBS, but the frame rate was just tanking, so I'm back to using good old reliable shadow play. Uh, so we, our objectives are, uh, scan the nearest portal and then defle defeat, defeat, <laughs> uh, Klingon scavengers. This wreckage is from a ship, a massive one. If the Terrans were trying to get reinforcements through here, it didn't work. I'm picking up life signs on several other larger pieces of debris. Emergency life support systems are failing. However, they don't have a lot of time left. All right, let's prep the sick bay for casualties and begin transporting survivors aboard.
We've rescued several survivors. The uninjured ones are being held in the brig, and the casualties are in sick bay. We've found several who are cocooned in mycelial, mycelial <laughs> threads. Uh, apparently, the wreckage passed through some sort of subspace mycelial network, and now several of the survivors are wrapped in these fungal strands. Will the cocoon one survive? Uh, too early to tell, but indications are generally positive. Apparently, the mycelial net webwork is very durable. It may have protected them from the disaster that claimed their ship. Well, keep me posted if their status changes, and in the meantime, we need to get to the planet. I have the coordinates for the science station on the planet's surface. It is logical to assume that the Terrans have taken control of the research team and their facility. It is logical to assume that the Terrans have taken control of the research team and their facilities. Preparing for an armed response will be prudent. Alright, let's beam down. The research facility has already been attacked. We must see to the welfare of the researchers, if any survived. We should check the shelter area. I hope that you like that little uh, cinematic preview of this uh, ground map of uh, Pavo. I think this is actually a really, really, really well done uh, map. Um, just like other missions that have come out uh, before this recently, just they're just so well done. Also, I saw this on Twitter. Uh, if anyone saw the uh, the fire, um, uh, uh, what was it? Festival that scammed a crap ton of people out of money on Netflix. This really does actually look like the tents that they had put up. <laughs> but yeah, let's uh, let's do our thing here. Your assistance is appreciated. Yes. This guy here looks uh, familiar. Looks like that guy from the Undyne missions. I have recovered. I have recovered. Some of the voiceovers in this is just kind of funny. My injuries are we not are life threatening. The Terrans did not kill everyone. They were more concerned with our research data than equipment. Our work appears to have given the Terrans what they need to communicate with Pavo in ways we cannot. They are now able to alter the planet's consciousness, causing it to reflect their own dark nature. We'll beam your people to safety before we deal with the Terrans. Our security personnel should remain with us. We will need all the help we can get against the Terran forces. A logical conclusion. I feel that... I, I, I'm not a Vulcan, but it just having that as the opt, like the response to that kind of seems like my human character is just kind of or whatever character you have made if you don't have a vulcan is just like kind of mocking this chief scientist a logical conclusion yeah that's <laughs> just an observation to communicate with the planet we have learned that it uses crystal matrices as transmitters we have a small collection of crystal samples they may be useful to re-establish the planet's normal biosphere free from terran influence Let's pick up a few of those crystals before we continue. All right. All right, so these are the crystals. I was able to take readings of the area. Terran technology is not subtle, especially Agonizer gear. I'm reading it in several nearby locations. A meadow, a riverbank, and a narrow pass. I am also reading several Terran life signs in those areas. Do not expect a warm welcome from them. Once we've dealt with the Terrans, we can turn off their agonizers and re-stabilize 
Restat restabilize the planet. Wow. There is a canyon that exits to another glade of Pavan life a short distance to the south of here. Logically, the Terrans would seek out places where they can use their technology to attempt to subvert the planet. We should keep an eye out for those for their devices then. Defeat the Terrans. Disable the agony devices and repair Pavo. Oh, repair the Pavo biosphere with uncorrupted crystals. All right. Uh, I'm going to do one real quick thing here. Audio. There we go. I'm just bringing the music down to a, uh, a dull roar. <laughs> the device there, near the crystals. Disable it to interrupt the Terran's hold on Pavo. All right. Oh, place the crystal. Progress. Done. Ground combat. Now as I go pew pew, I thought about doing uh, some like cinematic mode for this ground part. Um, I think it would just look a little bit off. I don't know why. Um, but, yeah. There we go. Take the item. Disable agonizer. So, my first time playing through this, um, with the end part, I admittedly actually died a lot. Um, I'm on a new character, so it's not built up. Um, this is not the right way whatsoever. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it was a little frustrating and took a little bit longer. So hopefully this time around, um, we can get through it and not die so quickly. Uh, let's just go over here for a second. This view is really cool. Kind of wish I could get down there, but... But yeah, really, really cool view. I like it. Alright, enough sightseeing. Let's, uh... We should continue before the Terrans send reinforcements. Curious? I sense something. They are attempting to communicate telepathically. Don't touch it. No. No. Bad. No. Angry. Dude's going Super Saiyan. Super Saiyan Vulcans. I like how in the background my guy's just like, yo, know, you alright? Ah! IDIC over 9,000. Super Saiyan Vulcan. Ah! Oh, crap. That, whatever that was knocked my shields right down. Holy crap. Down. Why are you... St oh, you're still like... Okay. Treat your injuries. Fascinating. The Terrans have used their agonizer technology to induce a state of hostility in the Pav and Biosphere. It is lashing out. Using its empathic powers to project its pain and rage into other living beings. If the Terrans are able to do this on a large scale, the 
planet could serve as a massive telepathic weapon. It would be able to subvert or kill anyone, anywhere. We should disable this technology wherever we find it on Pavo. Why didn't the attack affect me or my ossifers? Yes, I said ossifers. Deal with it. An interesting question. I believe the biosphere has a stronger connection to myself and my team. It may have instinctively struck the most familiar minds first. That being said, I do not believe it will continue to exclusively attack the members of my team. Only those with the ability to harm the biosphere will be immune. Are you able to continue, Super Saiyan Vulcan? Yes. Now that I have experienced the psionic attack, I can take steps to shield my mind against it. The security officers, on the other hand, do not have my level of training in the mental arts. It would not be logical for them to continue on with us. Well, we should probably get them out of here before they turn into Super Saiyans again and try and, like, shoot me in the back or whatever. Bye-bye. Alright. Uh, oh, we still have to turn this off. <laughs> Place uncorrupted crystal. Ooh. Oh, and I got skill points to purchase. Whoops. I like how uh, when you place the crystal, all the flowers turn back to blue. It's pretty cool. Small details, you know. Yeah, stuck on a rock. No, take out. Take him out. He heals people. There we go. Take item. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, there's a shield. Yeah, disable this one. Where am I keeping these crystals? Asking, look, look at the size of that crystal. Where am I holding that? It seems that in addition to using their agonizer technology on the planet itself, the Terrans are blocking access to the central pillar with force fields in selected areas. Doubtless, they wish to prevent interference in their captain's plans. We'll need to disable those force fields and stop their captain. But yeah, back to the crystals. Where am I carrying those? Like... Like, look at these pants. These pants? Is that, is that a, a Pavon crystal in your pants? Or are you just happy to see me? I'm like, no, it's actually, yeah, it's actually a crystal. I'm not happy to see you at all. I know, overthinking. These are pretty. No, they did a great job on this map. It's visually, like, really, really appealing. Really well done. Looks good. This part's pretty crazy. My guy swaggering in, looking at the rocks. Oh, look at that rock. That's a nice rock. Terrans have used their agonizer technology to induce a state of an Oh, well, so um, right after I decided to make a joke about the rocks, <laughs> the game crashed. So uh, uh, sorry about having to skip out that little bit of uh, of um, dialogue from Super Saiyan Vulcan, but. See, look, my bridge officers are getting, oh, and me, getting completely messed up. An interesting question. Oh, yes. okay. I could have just, yep. So the options are still there to talk. You know what? Let's switch to a different gun here. I think I'm using the gun that I started. Oh, no, I'm going to die again. Defeat Captain Killy.
Why am I? Jeez. I'm getting wrecked. All right, hold on. Let's back up here. Let's see. It seems that in addition to using their agonizer technology on the planet itself, the Terrans are blocking access to the central pillar with force fields in selected areas. Doubtless, they wish to prevent interference in their captain's plans. We will need to disable those. Okay, cool. There we go. We did our conversation part. <laughs> Why don't I give you a little taste of my big gun? Oh my. Disable the controls to the left. I can do this all day. You? Not so much. No, because I'll probably die again. I don't know how my health is like being taken out like so quick that or I'm just not used to new character and all that stuff ah I'm gonna die again yeah there it is how many deaths is that now one two three oh there you are yeah there's another guy up there So, another crash. <laughs> Terran, an intro. Yes. Time's up. Ready to die? Yeah, these crashes are a little bit annoying. And I think I'm about to die again. Disable the controls to the right before she forces. Got it. Ever had an agonizer down your throat? No. No? You're about to. No. That doesn't sound pleasant at all. Okay, we need to go to this one back here. Get out of the red. Where the hell? Oh. Get, oh, jeez. <laughs> Help me. Help me. Help me. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. We're, we're respawning. Oh. And this time we respawned all the way back at the beginning. It seems that well, ain't that fun. I'm not sure why the game was crashed twice now. Um, it's really annoying. Luckily, I'm not live streaming this, but recording it, so you won't miss much, or you won't notice much of a. Uh, of uh of an interruption but yeah it's <laughs> really really inconvenient for me okay three out of four ain't bad let's just go in and do this and hope that things don't crash again now this will be a real treat for me all right let's so go on this way oh shit Ah. Let's turn this off real quick. There you we just go. got to my last nerve and jumped all over it. I also got to the last console. <laughs> nah. Oh no 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 no. No 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 no. Take these guys one by one. Oh no. Jeez. Oh man, don't respawn me back yet. No. Personal shield losing power. 
Damn it! So while I uh, run back for the second time, uh, did anybody else have this much problems uh, trying to get through it? Or did everybody just, like, did you, have you created a new disco character and kind of just playing through the new stuff as it comes out? Or did you all, did you do this with, like, level 65? Because, uh, this seems a little... I've n I don't think I've had this much of an issue on a ground map before. Now I gotta wait for one, two. Hope the other one's coming. Um, yeah. Usually I only have this much trouble on a ground map, uh, in TFOs, like the board TFOs. I just I don't have a good time with those. Um, this one just seems to be wrecking my face, though. What? Okay. There's somebody in the wall there. And now they're gone. And... What? What? What the hell is going on? Okay, so there's a guy there. Oh. Okay, so we are back with crash number three. <laughs> and then, yes. This is. It seems that in addition to using their agonizer. Okay, yeah, we've been through all that. Uh, so we need to defeat Captain Tilly, but Captain Tilly is nowhere to be found. And I have a feeling that that was her in a rock over here. Oh, there she is. You're going to die there. This has got to be the most messed up playthrough I've ever had. Oh my god, I'm going to die. At least I have a cor uh, like a corner to like hide behind or something. If I can get back up this rock. Wow, she just does not want to go down. Ah, she's coming. No, I'm stuck. I need to get her out of this cave. Maybe my other bridge officer deal with her. Oh, just go down already, please. I don't... Oh, thank God. <laughs> well... This is definitely not how I saw this ending. Me neither. I thought it was going to be in the cave. Of time. Before we beat you, right? You don't have the stomach to stop us. But we're more than capable of ending you. And I intend to make that happen. That seems unlikely. Your campaign of terror here is over, Captain. Oh, I'm not done yet, Vulcan. That Super Saiyan Vulcan to you. next time, you assholes. Wow, she said a swear. I'm gonna get so demonetized now. Fascinating. <laughs> My guy over there is just like, what the fuck is happening? She has somehow used Pavo's transmitter as a long-range transporter. Tilly could be anywhere in the quadrant now. If we are fortunate, we might find further clues among the Terran equipment. They did go to considerable trouble to arrange this site. Yeah, let's take a look. Okay, so... Yeah, um... So this is... This was the most uh, interesting playthrough. Probably the most times I died. 
Um, most times I crashed. I think we have found all we can here. It may be advisable to return to your vessel so that we can deal with the situation in local space. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> now that you have secured the research preserve, we must find a way to return the remaining Terrans and their vessel to their proper time and space. What do you recommend? We can use the Ion Storm to send Discovery back. Specially modified probes can amplify the storm in specific locations. This can generate a localized ion effect and open a gateway to the proper point in space and time. Alright. Uh, yeah, convincing Discovery to enter that could be difficult. Especially given the Terran predilection for hostility. Alright, fire to disable. Yeah, I don't think I've ever crashed this much in a, uh, in a mission. And yeah, I'm not doing cinematic mode just because I don't know why things keep crashing. Um, so, you just have to enjoy some like, good old fashioned. Uh, whatchamacallit, you know. Some Let's Play style. Yeah, not... You're gonna have to enjoy this. I'm sorry. <laughs> there we go. Disabled. The discovery has been disabled. Stand down, and you need to return to your time. Fine by me. Tilly slinked off to parts unknown and left us to die. I'm the captain now, and I say send us back if you can. <laughs> Look at me. I am the captain now. <laughs> Very well. Turn to your initial entry po position, and don't try any more tricks, or else. Your display has been updated. Locations to place probes around. Trigger an ion flare to open the gateway and we'll take discovery back. Alright. Oops. The time displaced Klingons are still out there. And they have shown a distinct interest in destroying the discovery. Along with all of us. Alright, let's do this thing. Watch out for Klingons. Here's number one. One. Go over to number two. Plus, there doesn't seem to be too much uh, space battle here in any way for cinematic mode anyway. Oh, spoke too soon. The other annoying thing. In demo record, every time I blow somebody up, there's that purple pop-up for the experience points. See that going up there right now? That shows up in demo record as well. Alright, one more. Go, go, go. This mission, I'm using that scalable uh, walker class. What's it called again? Prototype Light Exploration Cruiser. So you can start using it at tier one and. Uh, what 
Wouldn't it be funny if we stayed near Discovery and we got pulled in too? That's right, there's a timer. <laughs> My bad. Five, four, three, two, one, zoop. Ta -da. The ion storm has cleared, and we're receiving standard readings from Pavo. It's broadcasting its song as normal. No aberrations, no distress calls. It would seem things are returning to a calm, peaceful level. This is good news. Once the research team is able to resume their duties, we will begin to analyze the impact of agonizer technology on the Pavan ecosystem. Considering what we have just witnessed, it will be logical to make sure Tilly and her crew didn't leave any unexpected surprises on the planet as well. For now, I believe we can safely depart the system. Okay, let's go. I like that warp out. <laughs> All right, so that um, that is done. It will take some time to evaluate the impact of the Terran occupation of Pavo. The agonizer technology they used to manipulate the planetary biosphere was invasive and damaging. I am concerned about the effect it had upon the Pavan ecology, and how that will affect future attempts at interaction with the planet. The fact that Captain Tilly remains at large is troubling. Her technological prowess and propensity for violence should make her presence in this time quite disruptive. Should she acquire current technology and return to her own time, it is possible that she will rewrite history as we know it, turning our universe into one more like her own, if not worse. In the meantime, we both have our duties to attend to. It has been agreeable working with you. Live long and prosper. Right on. So we're getting some XP. Um, I already have that. Um, so I might as well just take that, I guess, and collect. And we're level 13. Yeah, that was... Uh, that didn't go as well as I thought it would. <laughs> uh, we had multiple crashes. Uh, and I think with the crashes, it just it kind of messed up the respawn point. So just as I'm talking about crashes, it, the game decides to crash again. So I'm going to make this, uh, <laughs> this outro uh, pretty quick before it decides to uh, crash for the fifth or sixth time. I've honestly lost count. Uh, but thank you very much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it, even with all of the, <laughs> the chaos that happened in it. I guess it made it a little bit more lively and interesting. Uh, but uh, yeah, I will... 
continue to try and do these uh, with this character. Uh, so I guess the next one would be the Klingon War and going through all that. Uh, I'm sure that'll be a lot of fun. Uh, but yeah, that is that is it. Uh, I'm going to have some links for some of my uh, cinematic stuff for you to check out if you haven't checked that out yet. Uh, if you enjoyed this, hit the like button. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video, hopefully with less crashes and deaths. Thank you. Bye-bye.